Hi everyone and welcome to Learning with GP. Today we are going to talk about something a little bit different. Remember the fun mastermind game we used to play? Oh yeah, that's exactly what we are going to talk about. So hello to all you mastermind gamers present and the nostalgic ones. Unlike you guys, I discovered this game quite recently actually during the lockdown as I was looking for interesting ways to pass my time. I do love a lot of board games. Same goes with Mastermind. I can totally mastermind on any day of the week. It's very quick, interesting and requires only two players. The one I'm playing is for kids, but it's super cool. It has six different characters, bright colors and an interesting code breaking going on. So. No judgments. Before I start talking about the game, let me tell you why exactly are we here. So while playing this game a couple of times, we notice that there is definitely an orderliness to this mind bender. And in this video, I want to share with you that hack so that you can play to win for sure, like a pro every time and never have to be randomly guessing and wasting your chances. As the name of the game suggests, the game does require some brain work to break the color code set by your opponent, which is basically the goal of the game. So let's have a look at the board. It is not like your normal game boards. It is a bit elevated, super green, looks awesome. The game comes with two little troughs. So one is the guessing trough. Using these guys, you can make your color choices in each round of the game and let's take a look at what choices can you make so you can choose from the six animal characters that they have each character has a different color to it overall you have to guess the code within a total of nine rounds as there are nine rows on the play board and if you fail to do so you will lose the game well i don't think we're ever going to lose this game after watching this video so let's not even get there that would be the part of the code breaker. Now let's come to the other trove. So this is going to be the code setters area. It's filled with these white and red dogs and they are going to use these to indicate to you if the choices that you have made in a particular round is correct or not. Here the white dog means that one of the three colors that you have chosen is correct, but it is in the wrong position. The red dog means that one of the colors is correct and it is in the right position. However, the placement of the dogs doesn't really reveal which one specifically is correct. So you could probably keep guessing for a long time and end up wasting a lot of chances. After playing Mastermind a couple of times, you were wondering about the best possible way to win the game with the smallest number of attempts. There is, as promised, a method to the madness of this mind-bending game. So let's play a quick game and watch and learn step by step as we go. The first chance is obviously a completely random choice. So it's based on your favorite or least favorite colors, whichever one you would want to go by. Um, here I think I'm gonna go with the tiger, which is yellow. That will be Mr. L. It's a lion, which is blue. That's Mr. T. And the bear, Miss Barrymore, which is red. All right, sir. Let's see what other results like. So I received two whites, which means two of the guys here in my code are correct but they are in the wrong position i am going to start here by betting on my rightmost two guys the yellow and the blue which will be mr l and mr t and i'm gonna pick a new character now which is going to be mr hippo here now i await the almighty dogs from the other room and a red and a white okay that's interesting. Now it means that one of the characters in my code are in the right position and the other character is present but in the wrong position. So I could simply play Mr. L, 
bet that the position of Mr. Hippo is the right one. And bring in one new friend, Miss L, the elephant, obviously. But that is not the way to go. I repeat to you guys, do not fall for that trap. Yes, it seems like a good choice, but the third row that you play does not simply depend on the hint that you have received in the second row, but it should be the sum of the hints that you get in both the first and the second row. So let's take a step back here and rethink our chance and get closer to that win. So now when we look at the first row, it tells us that we should absolutely have two colors from this row. It could be red or yellow or blue. Then the results from the second row tell us that one of them is in the right position. So just to get it out of the way, I'm going to play Mr. Hippo. Then replay the two colors from the first row, but in different positions. So here and here. All right. Let's check once more if everything is consistent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's wait for the will of great dogs of Romaniemi. Let's see what they have to say about it. All right. So we were consistent, but not really super lucky. That's okay, that's not a problem because I tell you this is the method and it's the only two friends which will lead us to the ever so sweet rainbow of success. All right, back to the game, sorry. So as you see, this answer helps us understand that Mr. Hippo has been totally fooling us with his brightness and he is not in the right position. Okay, now let's go back to row one and start summing up the hints we have received so far. So we should have two colors from here. I'm going to bet on Mr. T because as I look at the rest of the rows, choosing Mr. L doesn't really add up according to our rule of consistency. Just to show you guys, I'm going to play it again and choose Mr. L and show you how it doesn't really add up. For now, I'm just gonna go with Mr. T. Then change the position of Mr. Hippo and pop in the remaining position Miss Barrymore as he had two rights from the row three. Tell me now, oh great dogs of Rovaniemi, what is thy judgment? All right, yay! So here we did it. All right, we did it. Okay, so now you know how it works and it's definitely always going to be successful. So you just have to keep in mind that every step you should play should be the sum of the hints from all the last steps and not just the last one. So please cross check and then play. Okay, now let's go back and take a look if we played Mr. L instead of Mr. T in our final round. How will that play out and how is the rule of consistency going to tell us that it is not the right choice? So I'm gonna replace Mr. L and T here. If I have to choose Mr. L at this point, I will have to put him in the middle. As from the second row, we know that one color is in the right position. And from the third row's hint, we know that it has to be in the middle as we would have gotten a red dog otherwise. All right. In case it's going to be blue, then we know that it can only be placed here as rows one and two tell us that he was not rightly placed in either of the case as we only got white dogs there. Okay, now what if we decided to go with the red instead of blue here? So looking at the row one and three, we can tell that the right position for red will also be this one. That is fine. However, when we look at row two, we know that we have two right colors and as we have negated blue, we can only assume it's going to be orange. But according to row three, if we choose red, then we can choose orange as we should have gotten three dogs already here, but we didn't. So if we choose red, then we don't satisfy the consistency rule for row two, which tells us that red is not the right choice here. So we go back to the blue again. Then we have one more empty space, which can be easily populated with Mr. Hippo. So here we are left with a choice of 
blue, yellow and orange, that will be Mr. L, Mr. T and Mr. Hippo. But wait, we have already played this game, this three guys in row two, but we only got two dogs. That means only two of them are in the final code. And as choosing Mr. L, that is our yellow character, doesn't really allow us to choose the red, we must replace it and go back to using Mr. T, which was our initial winning choice. As I said earlier, just think about the consistency and make the choices as a collective sum of all the results you receive from the great dogs of Rovaniemi, as they only have the best intentions in their heart and they will lead you to success. Thank you so much for watching this fun hack we came up with. Do subscribe to my channel, we have a ton of learning material here for you. This video is something totally new I tried. If you guys like it and would like more such videos, do let me know in the comments below and give me a like. So see you on the next time. Bye!